Hey everyone, and welcome to the MERN Full Stack Crash Course. This course is going to teach you how to build full stack web applications using the MERN stack. From the front end to the back end, we'll cover it all. In this first episode, we're going to go over exactly what the MERN stack is, what each technology does in the stack, and we're going to break down exactly how this course is structured. The MERN stack is one of the most popular and efficient frameworks for building full stack web apps. The acronym MERN stands for MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. Each of these plays an essential role within the stack, and in this course, you're going to learn exactly how we can utilize all of them to create amazing web apps. Let me explain what each of these technologies is responsible for, starting with React. React is a JavaScript library used for building front-end web applications. If you open up a web app built using the MERN stack, everything you're seeing on the page is built with React. All the pages you can route between, all the little buttons or images on each page, all the styling and everything else is done with React and a little CSS. Basically, everything a user sees on a web page is built using a React frontend. In this course, I'm going to assume you have at least a basic understanding of React. If you don't, I'd highly recommend watching my full React course first. That way you're not having to learn React on top of all the backend stuff. The next two technologies I want to talk about are Express and Node, which come as a package deal because they're both used to take care of the server aspect of our code. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript code on your machine. However, Node is also used to run a server for your backend code. We could just use Node by itself to take care of all of our server functionality. However, it can get a bit messy, and that's where Express comes in. Express is a framework for Node that makes it easier to work with a server. Express is a framework for Node in the same way that React is a framework for JavaScript. Sure, we could just do vanilla JavaScript and get rid of React, but that would make things a lot harder. The Express framework makes it easy to write backend code for your app, set up API routes, and do all sorts of other things you may need to do with a server. In the context of MERN, Express builds backend routes that your frontend can interact with. The routes are HTTP routes, and this is how we're going to connect our frontend with our backend. Last but certainly not least, we have MongoDB, which takes care of the database aspect of our application. MongoDB itself is a database, meaning it's somewhere where we can store all of the data we need for our application. It's a NoSQL database, meaning data is stored in a format similar to JavaScript objects, which makes it very easy to work with in JavaScript. On top of that, it's arguably the most popular NoSQL database in the world and has tons of support and documentation behind it. When you hear the terms front-end and back-end, just know that front-end is referring to building the actual website using something like React, and back-end is referring to running and interacting with the server as well as the database. In that case, React is the front end, and then the other three, being Mongo, Express, and Node, are all involved in the back end. Full stack web development, which is what we're learning in this course, encompasses every single one of these things. You need to know how to work with a front end framework like React to build web pages, a back end framework like Express with Node to handle all the functionality behind the web pages, and you also need to know how to interact with the database in order to be able to create, read, update, and delete data. Let's imagine we have a blog website, which will actually be the project we build during this course. How and where do each of these technologies come into play? So a user first navigates to the website. The landing page they see is built in React, as are all the other pages they could possibly navigate to. All the buttons, all the interactivity to go between pages, etc. It's a blog website, so users need to see blog posts, right? Therefore, in the code, React makes a request to the server that Node.js is running to grab all the blogs so they can show them to the user. Specifically, it requests data from one of the routes that Express has set up. Express receives this request and using some backend code that has been written, goes and grabs the blogs from MongoDB because that's where all the blog data is stored. MongoDB then returns all of the blog data that was requested to the backend, meaning to Express, and then Express subsequently returns this data to the front end, and then that data is displayed on the React page. Now, the user who navigates to this site is able to see all the blog data, this sounds like a complicated process, but this all happens most likely in the span of milliseconds, and the user or client can't really tell what all has happened behind the scenes. So the next time you go to a web page and you see a loading icon on the page for a second or two, just know that that's because we're making a request to the server, and then the server has to go and grab data from the database and then return that to the front end. Now that you have a basic understanding of the MERN stack and how each technology helps build a web app, let's outline everything we're going to cover for this course. The first episode after this one will be about getting our MongoDB set up. You'll learn how to create a free database using a tool like MongoDB, how to connect it to your app, and how to use the MongoDB library to access this database whenever you want inside your code. After that, we'll set up the server using Node and Express. You'll learn how to spin up a server on any given port and how to connect that server to MongoDB. Next, we'll dive deep into Express and write most of our backend code. 
you'll learn how to create express routes, which is how we can connect our front end to our back end. Inside of these routes, you'll learn how to create, read, update, and delete stuff from our database. Once all of that is said and done, we'll finally dive into the React code. You'll learn exactly how to call backend functions in React and how to use React tools like useEffect to load data from a database onto your page. Then we'll spend a couple of episodes fleshing out our React pages to ensure we have all of our functionality that we want in the context of having a blog website. Next, you'll learn how to do user authentication in a full stack project. This means being able to create user accounts that we can store in our database. You'll learn how to encrypt passwords for the database, how to store user information, and how to disable site access to those that aren't logged in. The last major thing you'll learn is how to handle media like images or video in a full stack project. You'll learn how to upload images to a database system, how to retrieve them, and how to connect them to a database like MongoDB using other tools. In the very final episode, you'll learn how to make a site look nice and presentable using Tailwind CSS, which is a CSS framework. You'll learn about some design principles and you'll get a good idea of what it looks like to style a front end site. With all that being said, I hope you're ready and excited to get into this course. There's a lot of stuff planned for this course and it's taken me a while to flesh all of it out for you guys. Let's get you on the right path to becoming a full stack developer. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next episode.